Uh, yeah, well, that's part of this whole effort to uh, shift the focus uh, to me and to and away from the reality, and at the same time uh, to uh, somehow paint me as uh, some kind of conspiracy uh, person or theorist, which is absolutely untrue. What I what is true is that I wrote the forward to the original uh, book of David Griffin, a long time friend of mine, which is the most prominent uh, challenge to the validity of the official uh, version of 9-11. And I continue to uh, hold the view that, that the 9-11 Commission did not adequately address the difficult questions about what happened on 9-11 that he raised. But I haven't ever and do not now endorse any kind of conspiracy theory. All I think is, is, is true is that the American people and the world deserve a, a fuller and more uh, credible investigation of those events. Um, in December of 2006, Israel blocked the South African Archbishop and Nobel laureate Desmond Tutu from investigating the killing of 19 Palestinians in Gaza. He had a U.N. mandate to head a fact-finding mission to Gaza, like you did, but Israeli officials failed to grant him the necessary travel visas, saying the mission, quote, advances a biased anti-Israel agenda. And the lack of cooperation by the Israeli government, very distressing as well as its failure to allow the mission timely passage to Israel. This is a time in our history that neither allows for indifference to the plight of those suffering, nor a refusal to search for a solution to the present crisis in the region. I asked the Archbishop, Archbishop Tutu, about this when I interviewed him a few weeks ago. You were blocked from going into Gaza in 2006, leading a U.N. delegation there after the killing of yeah. a number of Palestinians. What do you think has to be done now with the Middle East, specifically with Israel and the, the occupation? There's, there's, there's been uh, in, uh, some very interesting uh, moves in with the outgoing uh, prime minister uh, suggesting that uh, Israel has to consider very seriously uh, the proposal of going back to the to the boundaries of 1967. That's that's, that's a that's a very important initiative if, if that was taken. Uh, I I think that we would have to move very quickly to lifting the. The embargo. Um, it's the, the the suffering is unacceptable. It's totally unacceptable. It doesn't it doesn't promote uh, the security of Israel or any other part of that very volatile region. That's uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu of South Africa just a few weeks ago here in New York. Um, of course, it was not only Tutu, not only you, Professor Falk, but news organizations writing a letter of protest to the Israeli prime minister, CNN, BBC, Reuters, New York Times, AP, for not being allowed into Gaza. Uh, what are you calling for right now as you return home, having been deported from Israel? Well, well m mainly uh, access uh, for myself. Uh, I think uh, my resignation would be uh, giving in to uh, Israel's uh, uh, unreasonable behavior. And as I say, part of this broader pattern that uh, uh, Archbishop Tutu's uh, exclusion uh, further uh, confirms. And incidentally, I didn't respond to your question about Hamas. That is an absolutely untrue statement. I've condemned the firing of rockets at uh, civilians. And, uh, Professor Folk, we just have five seconds, so your final comment. My final comment is that it's important for the peace of the region that the facts of this occupation are widely known. We leave it there. Thank you for joining us. I'm Amy Goodman.